Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Vocational Education and Training, Sawet, Diploma. Postgraduate Diploma in Information Security, GDS. First Semester. MSEI 021 Introduction to Information Security. Block 1 Business Needs and Security Awareness. Unit 1 Information Technology Concept and Application. 1.0 Introduction Information Technology, IT, is the acquisition, processing, storage and dissemination of vocal, pictorial, textual and numerical information by a microelectronics-based combination of computing and telecommunications. It is the area of managing technology and spans wide variety of areas that include but are not limited to things such as processes, computer software, information systems, computer hardware, programming languages and data constructs. In short, anything that renders data, information or perceived knowledge in any visual format whatsoever, via any multimedia distribution mechanism, is considered part of the IT domain. IT provides businesses with four sets of core services to help execute the business strategy, business process automation, providing information, connecting with customers and productivity tools. 1.1 Objectives After going through this unit, you should be able to times describe information technology, times understand computers and its classification, times know computer software and computer security, and times explain virus and its types. 1.2 Information Technology UNESCO defines information technology, IT, as scientific technological engineering disciplines and the management techniques used in information handling and processing, their application, computers and their interaction with men and machines and associated social, economical and cultural matters. OECD, 1987, treats information technology as a term covering technologies used in the collection, processing and transmission of information. It includes microelectronic and infoelectronic based technologies incorporated in many products and production processes and increasingly affecting the service sector. It covers inter alia computers, electronic office equipment, telecommunication, industrial robots and computer controlled machines electronic components and software products 1.3 computer a computer is a high speed general purpose digital electronic stored program data processor i.e. computer is an electronic machine that performs a specified sequence of operations as per the set of instructions programs given a set of data input to generate desired information output Donald H. Sander defines computer as a fast and accurate electronic data manipulating system that is designed and organized to automatically accept and store input data, process them and produce output results under the direction of a detailed step-by-step -step set of instructions called as program that is stored internally. Characteristics of computers 1. Speed 2. Accuracy 3. Storage and Retrieval 4. Repeated Processing Capabilities 5. Reliability 6. Flexibility 7. Diligence Computer Operations A computer's operations are the following. Input, data and programmed instructions are input to the computer using appropriate methods. Storage, data and instructions are held in computer storage either in the central processing unit or on backup storage until required for processing processing the necessary arithmetical and logical operations are carried out within the central processing unit cpu output the results of processing is output on the required medium device control the processing steps are controlled by the stored program working in Times conjunction with the CPU's control unit and the operating system's programs. The use of the input and output devices is similarly controlled, 
while all operations are monitored by the computer operator. Components of computer. Computer systems are composed of five basic components. 1. Hardware. 2. Software. 3. User programs. 4. Procedures. 5. Data processing personnel. Hardware is the machines used by a data processing department, including data preparation devices, input and output devices. Software consists of the collection of programs and operating aids associated with a computer that facilitate its operation and programming. User programs are programs written by the users of the computer's systems. Procedures are the rules, policies and guidelines governing the operation of the computer center. Data processing personnel are the people responsible for keeping the data processing department functioning in an effective and efficient manner. Classification of computers. The classification of computers is based on the following three criteria. A. According to purpose. B. According to technology used. C. According to size and capacity. A. According to purpose. 1. General purpose computers. Computers that follow instructions for general requirements such as sales analysis, financial accounting, invoicing, inventory, management information, etc. are called general purpose computers. 2. Special purpose computers, computer designed to perform special tasks like scientific applications and research, space applications weather, forecasting, medical diagnostics etc. are called special purpose computers. b. According to technology used. 1. Analog computers. Analog computers are computers that measures physical quantities like pressure, temperature, length etc. and convert them to numerical value. They are used for scientific and engineering purpose and they give only approximate results. It 2. Digital computers. Most computers are digital devices, i.e. they count the numbers or digits that represent numerical or other special symbols. 3. Hybrid computers. Hybrid computers incorporate the technology of both analog and digital computers. These computers store and process analog signals which have been converted into discrete numbers using analog to digital converters. C. According to size and capacity. 1. Supercomputers. Supercomputers are huge general purpose computers. Having a processing capacity of 10,000 MIPS, millions instruction sec. Have a storage capacity of millions of bytes. The high speed in these computers is due to use of a number of microprocessors working in parallel. And high storage densities are obtained by using magnetic bubble memories and CCDs, charge-coupled devices, thus reducing the cost of storage. 2. Mainframe computers. A mainframe computer is generally a large fast computer system designed for the processing of huge amounts of data. 3. Mini computers. Mini computers are small versions of the mainframe computers. Like mainframes they have many terminals which are connected with one CPU and can support many users. The capacity of the central processing unit and peripheral devices is comparatively less than those of the mainframe computers. 4. Microcomputers. Microcomputers appear due to technological advances in fabricating highly miniaturized silicon chips. These computers use microprocessor that is why they are called microcomputers. 1.4 Application Areas of Computers Times Computers are used in the following areas, science and technology, business, industry, manufacturing, transport and communication, telecommunication, medicine and healthcare, education, banking, law and order, publishing industry, engineering technologies, tilde, data representation. The computers handle the data by electrical components like translators, semiconductors, Integrated circuits or wires which exist in two states. A transistor may be conducting or non-conducting 
Magnetic material like ferrite course may be magnetized in one direction or the other and a wire may or may not be carrying a current. Thus a computer can understand only one language consisting of two symbols. The binary language, known as the machine, and wage, is best suited for this purpose as it consists of only two symbols, zero and I. Unfortunately, the most common way to represent the data is the use of numerals 0 to 9 and the alphabets A to Z along with some special symbols like plus, X and I, etc. The computer is unable to understand and supply data represented by these symbols. The limitation of a computer to understand the human language necessitated the changing of data to binary form, known as coding of data. This enables the communication between a computer and a human being. Why the binary system? Electronic components by their very nature operate in binary mode. A switch is either on, one, or off, zero, or again, a transistor is either conducting, one, or non-conducting, zero. This is generally denoted by bit, which has been extracted from the two words binary digit, memory and data storage. There are two types of memory in the computer system with primary and secondary. Primary storage, primary storage also known as main memory or core memory, provides capability to store input data, statements from currently undergoing processing, data resulting from processing and data in preparation for output. For example RAM, ROM, PROM, EPROM, EPROM, times RAM, Random access memory it is a temporary memory and it is used when the program and application is in execution process. RAM is volatile. Times ROM, read only memory it is a permanent memory and can only be read. Data cannot be written into it. ROM is permanent and non-volatile. Secondary storage, besides primary storage, where information and programs are stored for immediate processing. Modern computer systems used additional types of storage known as secondary storage, backup storage or auxiliary storage to accomplish their tasks. For example floppy disk, hard disk, pen drives etc. Difference between primary and secondary storage. Look at the screen. Virtual storage. Virtual storage is a useful processing technique that has emerged in conjunction with systems operating on more than one program at a time. When large programs are being executed, it is quite possible for insufficient storage to be available to meet the program requirements, particularly when a limited partition or section of memory is available of each program to use. Under this technique, the program least segmented into pages, which are fixed size storage area that contain a number of instructions. Most pages are kept on secondary storage. Devices and only those actually needed at a particular instant are in primary storage. This means, pages are moved in and out of memory, as programs require them, by specially developed control software provided by the manufacturers. Cache memory, cache memory that is both faster and more expensive per character stored than primary storage. This high-speed circuitry is used as scratch pad to temporarily store data and instructions that are likely to be retrieved many times during processing. 1.S Computer Software Definition Computer software is a sequence of instructions written in a language. Understood by the computer is called a computer program. A program or a set of Programs is called software. The computer program that causes general purpose computing equipment to solve specific problems and perform basic functions is known as software. Classification of software. There are three types of softwares. 1. System software. System software refers to all the programs that make the computer work. System software manages the resources of the computer such as the central processor, communication links and input-output devices. For example, assemblers, compilers, interpreters, 
editors etc. 2. Application software, a program or software develops to solve a problem. On a computer is called application software. It refers to software which processes data to structure or automate specific business processes or it consists of programs which direct computers to perform specific information activities for end users. 3. Utility software. Utility softwares are considered as generalized application or system software which is used quite often in the development of a program or sometimes required to transfer data from tape to tape. Other utility. Programs like sort, merge, programs are used to sort records into a particular sequence to facilitate updating of files. These sorted files can be merged into a single updated file using merge utility program. These utility programs are flexible to handle user needs. 1.6 Computer Programming Languages Programming languages, programming is the creation of a list of stored instructions that tell a computer what to do and programming language is an artificial language composed of a fixed vocabulary and a set of rules used to create instructions for the computer to follow. 1. Machine language. The computer understands nothing but OS and is and. These OS and 1S makes the machine level language. It is also called low level language. These machine level instructions are divided into two parts. Operation, code, and operand, address. 2. Assembly language. The language which substitutes letters and symbols for. The numbers in the machine language program is called an assembly language. For example, add, subtract, etc. 3. High level languages. To overcome the low level language difficulty of. Machine dependency. High level languages were developed. Such programming. Languages with an extensive vocabulary of words and symbols are used to. Instruct a computer to carry out the necessary procedures are called high. Level languages, e.g. C, C++. 4. Fourth generation languages. Fourth generation languages are directly used by the end users and it requires less skilled programmers to develop computer applications. Fourth generation languages tend to be non-procedural or less procedural. Procedural languages require specification of sequence of steps. And non-procedural languages need only to specify what has to be done rather than to provide details about how to carry out the task. Thus a non-procedural language can do the same task with less steps and lines of program code than a procedural language. S. Fifth generation languages. These languages represent the next natural language programming. Natural language eliminates the need for the user or programmer to learn a specific vocabulary, grammar or syntax of a language. The statements of a natural language are similar to human speech. Characteristics of a good programming language 1. A good programming language should be easy to understand. 2. The structure of the language should be very simple and it should have a very simple syntax. 3. It should have a way of appropriate data structures so that solving a given problem may be quite easy. 4. It should have presence of appropriate support environment and functions such as editors and extra library functions. 5. It should be easy to verify and modify thus reducing the program development time and increase the efficiency of the resultant software. Language translators programs. Compiler, a computer program that produces a machine language program from source program. It converts whole program together into machine level language. For example, compiler of C. Interpreter, a computer program that translates each source language statement into a sequence of machine instructions line by line. For example, basic difference between interpreter and compiler. Interpreter compiler. 1. Translates the program line by line. 1. Translates the entire program. 2. Requires less main memory. 2. Requires more main memory. 3. Each time the program is executed 3. Converts the entire program to 
Every line is checked for syntax and machine code when all the syntax then converted into equivalent machine errors are removed and executes the code object code directly. 4. Source program and the interpreter for neither source nor the compiler are requires for execution required for execution. 5. Good for fast debugging and at test read 5. Slow for debugging and testing. Stage. 6. Execution time is more 6. Execution time is less. 7. No security of source code 7. Security of source code. Debugging. The process of eliminating all errors and suitable modifying. Instructions to help the process is called debugging. Testing. Testing refers to the process of making sure that the program performs. The intended task. 1.7 Operating System Operating System 1. An organized collection of software that controls the overall operation of a computer and supervises the execution of other programs. 2. Software which controls the execution of computer programs and which may provide scheduling, debugging, input-output control, accounting, compilation, storage assignment, data management and related services. 3. An integrated system of programs which supervises the operation of the CPU, controls the input-output functions of the computer system, translates the programming languages into the machine languages and improves the total operating effectiveness of the computer. Functions of operating system. Operating system acts as pointer resource manager because it controls all the parts of Computer. How much memory is needed for the program? Where to store the program in which file and where to store the file in which place i.e. memory. Location and what are the devices are required to get JHE work done and which processor is required to complete the job. All the operations are controlled by the operating system that is why operating system will act a resource manager. There are four important managements of operating system. 1. Memory management. The programs in an operating system are capable of determining how much usable RAM a microcomputer has. The operating system also decides how this RAM is used. The transferring or swapping of times programs and data into and out of RAM takes place automatically under the control of the operating system. 2. File management, this will solve the problem of storing files separately from the computer and thus making retrieval a more straightforward operation and to allow two or more users to share the same file. The operating system supports a large library of user programs and files. The user will only tell the name of the file. The operating system will determine where a file is and place that file in the secondary storage for use. 3. Process management. In processor management the processor is provided to the jobs for processing of jobs. It controls data transfers between memories, terminals, etc. It deals with error handling also. It controls the equipment also. In synchronization. 4. Device management. It keeps track of all the devices which device is required by the user and that device is given priority is allocated to the user for work. The operating system also closely manages the input-output subsystems of the computer. Further, there are also several differences in the operational speeds of the processor and the speeds of the input-output devices, which calls for buffering and blocking of each file which the operating system takes care of. The facilities given by the operating system are 1. It initially set up the machine for operation checking that the hardware is properly functioning. 2. It checks the opening and closing of files. 3. It assigns files to peripherals. 4. It controls read-write activities. 5. It allocates the main and backing storage for program instruction, data. 6. It checks the error. 7. It handles the interrupts caused by program abnormalities. 8. It copies files from one disk to another. 9. It formats and prepare a brand new disk for use. 
types of operating system. 1. Single program operating system, a single user operating system permits. Only one program to bin at a time. 2. Multiprogramming operating system, it is a method of executing two or more programs concurrently using the same computer. 3. Multitasking operating system, it is the performance of more than one task concurrently by one user on a computer system. 4. Multi-user operating system, it manages the computer resources in such a manner that a number of users can use those resources at the same time. 5. Multi-processing operating system, in this environment operating system, ensures that independent programs are processed at the same time by different CPUs. 6. Virtual storage operating system, it is used for programs that are too large to be contained within primary storage. The operating system permits data to be moved between primary and secondary point storage. Tilde. 7. Virtual machine operating system. The virtual machine operating system gives the impression to each of a number of users that each has control over the computer while in reality they are sharing the same resource. 8. Distributed operating system, a distributed operating system appears to its users as a centralized operating system for a single machine but it runs on multiple independent computers. 9. Network operating system, it allows users to access various network resources and controls access so that only the users with proper authorization are allowed to access particular resources. It provides network security features such as authentication, authorization, logon restrictions and access controls. Commonly used operating systems. 1. MS-DOS, it is developed by Microsoft Inc. in 1981, is the most widely used operating system of IBM compatibles microcomputers. 2. PC tilde DOS, it is same as MS-DOS but developed by IBM for its personal computers. 3. OS2, a multi-user operating system developed jointly by IBM and Microsoft, provides a unique feature of multitasking, where several programs can be run simultaneously. It was the first operating system that provides users with a graphical user interface, OUI. 4. Windows NT, it is a multi-user 32-bit multitasking operating system for Microcomputers and workstations developed by Microsoft Incorporated. It was driven by a need to exploit the tremendous power of 32-bit microprocessor. 5. Unix, initially developed by Attent at Bell Laboratories in 1969, it is a highly successful operating system for powerful microcomputers, workstations and mini computers, supports multitasking, Multi-user processing and networking. 6. Windows 3.x, to meet the need for an operating system that had a graphical user interface, Microsoft developed Windows. Windows 3.x refers to three early versions of Microsoft Windows, Windows 3.0, Windows 3.1 and Windows 3.11. These Windows versions were not operating systems, instead they were operating environment. An operating environment is a graphical user interface that works in combination with an operating system. 7. Windows 95, Microsoft developed a true multitasking system named Windows 95 also referred as Win95. It is not like early versions of Windows which were merely operating environment. 8. Windows 98. Microsoft developed an upgrade to the Windows 95 operating system, called Windows 98. It is also called Win 98 and is more integrated with the Internet. 9. Windows NT, it is an OS for high-end desktops and workstations. It is a 32-bit OS. It is more powerful OS for Pentium RAN tilde E of processors. 10. Windows 2000. It is an upgrade to the Windows 98 and Windows NT operating system. It is complete multitasking operating system that has a graphical user interface. 11. Unix. 
It is developed by Ken Thompson in 1970 for Bell Laboratories. It supports a very strong security system by assigning each user a login name and a password. It provides a simple, uniform interface to peripheral devices. Times it has got built in networking with a large number of programs and utilities. 12. Linux. It is a powerful version of the Unix OS and is completely free of cost. It offers multitasking, virtual memory management and TCP IP networking. 13. Java Operating System. Java OS Sans Java OS executes programs written in the Java language without the need of AOS. It is designed for internet and intranet applications and embedded devices. 1.8 Computer Networks It is a collection of computers and peripheral devices connected together by communication links that allow the network components to work together. It is the act of process of informally esbering information and support, especially among members of a professional group. Data Communication It includes physical transmission circuits and networks and the hardware and software which support the data communication functions. It includes procedures for detecting and recovering from errors and contains the rules and protocols for exchange of information. Features of networking 1. It helps in sharing of computer resources. 2. It helps in sharing of software. 3. It helps in communication among users of different computer systems. 4. It facilitates communication with email. 5. It allows decentralization of various data processing functions. 6. It reduces the cost of the system. 7. Network helps in sharing of work. 8. It makes the system reliable and available online. Network topologies. Topology, it refers to the way in which communication network elements are physically connected to each other. 1. Star topology, in star network no two computers can communicate with each other directly, the communication between them has to take place through the host computer. In star network there is a host computer and all other computers are connected to it. 2. Ring network, no host computer exists in a ring network. All computers are connected in a ring formed by a closed loop in a manner that passes data from one computer to another. There is a direct point-to-point -point link between two neighboring or adjacent computers. These links are unidirectional which ensures that transmission by a node traverses the whole ring and comes back to the node which made the transmission. 3. Bus Network In this structure a single network cable runs in the building or campus and all nodes are linked along with this communication line with two Endpoints called the bus. 4. Mesh topology. A mesh topology provides redundant communication paths between some or all devices. 5. Tree network topology. A tree topology integrates the star and bus topologies in a hybrid approach to improve network scalability. Local area network, LAN, networks used to interconnect computers in a single room in a building or building in one site are called local area network. Wide area network, WAN, it is used to describe a computer network spanning a regional, national or global area. Metropolitan area network, MAN, it refers to a network confined to a metropolitan. It is used to connect branches or outlets of organizations or to exchange interorganizational information in a city. Comparison between LAN WAN and MAN. Look at the screen. 1.9 Data Transmission Modes. There are three modes of data transmission. 1. Simplex Mode. 2. 3. 1. Half Duplex Mode. Full Duplex Mode. Simplex Mode. Simplex communication is a simple method of communication in which there is one way of communication e.g. Television Transmission. 2. Half duplex mode, in this mode both units communicate over the same medium but only one can use the line at a time while one is in send mode the other unit is in receive mode. It is like two persons talking to each other. 1. 
talks, the other listens. But neither one talks at the same time. 3. Full duplex mode. Fulsk's duplex system permits information to flow simultaneously in both directions on the transmission path. Analog and digital data transmission. Analog data transmission, sound coming out from an instrument is an analog. Data communication. Analog data is continuous over an interval. Digital data transmission, digital data is discrete. They have to be represented by a sequence of bits for communication for example text and integers. 1.10 What is Internet? The word Internet is used to describe networks which incorporate a very large and complicated set of equipment. A set of computer networks made up of a large number of smaller networks using different networking protocols is called Internet. The Internet, the network is a globe-spanning heterogeneous mix of technologies and operating sys tilde eames. The Internet is a global collection of high-powered computers that are connected to each other with network cables, telephone cables, microwave dishes, satellites, and very other kind of electronic wizardry currently available facilitating several information services for network users. Benefits of Internet Internet helps organizations in reducing their communication costs significantly as access to the information is provided at reasonable cost. Employee access to significant amounts of information is increased. The Internet has become a tool for effective enhancing of communication and coordinating activities I tilde far flung locations. Internet provides an efficient means of updating and disseminating current information to customers and internal staff of organization. Internet recruiting is very popular in the present age of talent war throughout the World today which involves advertisement of vacancies on the internet and getting applications from the intending candidates through the internet. Internet has provided opportunity to organizations and their customers for interactive dialogues on direct marketing of products and services. Using internet, the students can get information on different institutions of higher education in any part of the world. Service provided by the Internet. Email it permits the sending and receiving of messages to other users connected to the Internet. FTP, file transfer protocol, it means of sending and receiving files from one computer to another. Gopher, an early form of representing information as graphical icons or symbols that could be displayed in a window and then downloaded. It has been replaced by www. Osnet, a number of discussion groups that allow users to post questions and replies sorted by topic. www. World Wide Web, accessed using a web browser such as Intern. Explorer, Netscape Navigator, a means of locating and displaying information. Located on the Internet. Web. The web refers to a specific kind of Internet interface. The web documents contain links that lead to other web pages. The web made it possible for novices to use the Internet. Features of www. 1. Platform independent. 2. Global availability. 3. Distributed computing. 4. Hypermedia support. 5. Common interface to multiple protocols. 6. Fast and easy application development. 7. Easier to create GUI applications. 8. Easy and quick information retrieval. 9. Large number of users. 10. Integration with legacy systems. 11. Open standard vendor independent. 12. Client server architecture. Web browser. A web browser is a software program developed to provide a friendly interface. On the web. It displays the web page and moves between the websites. It plays an important role in managing interaction with the web and also helps to review web contents. Functions of browser. 1. Interface on the web. 2. Display web page. 3. Interaction with web. 4. Review web content. 5. Download, save.
copy or print the web page. 6. Maintains record of history of sites last visited. Uniform resource locator, URL. These are used to address and access individual web pages internet resources. The format of a URL is protocol inter address web page address. For example, http www.coach.com http colon slash slash www google co in identifies the site as on the world with web using html of hypertext markup language http the actual url which is broken up by the periods www identifies the site as part of the world wide web the web is the subset of the internet times Net is the top-level domain name. It indicates the purpose of the sponsors of the site. Commercial organizations. This domain is in intended for commercial entities i.e. companies. Tilda M. Edu. Mill. Gov. Organization. Educational organizations. This domain was originally intended for educational institutions. Military purposes. Government organization. This domain was originally intended for any kind of government office. General organization. This domain is intended as the miscellaneous top level domains for organizations that did not fit anywhere else. Some non government organizations may fit here. Net this domain is intended to hold only the computers of network providers, i.e. The NIC and NOC computers. In this domain is for organizations established by international treaties. Or international databases. 1.11 Intranet. The intranet is a type of information system that facilitates communication within. The organization, among widely dispersed departments, divisions and regional. Locations. Intranet connects people together with internet technology using web. Browsers, web servers and data warehouses in a single view. Within an intranet. Access to all information, applications and data can be made available through the same browser. 1.12 Extranet. An extranet is private network that uses the internet protocol and the public. Telecommunication system to securely share part of a business information or operations with suppliers, vendors, partners. Customers. An extranet can be an extension of an intranet that makes the latter accessible to outside companies with an intranet. Extranets provides the privacy and security of an intranet while retaining the global reach of the internet. 1.13 Computer Security. Three types of securities may be provided to the computer. I. Hardware Security. 2. Software security a 1i. 3. Information security. I. Hardware security. The hardware security is achieved by ensuring control. On entry to the computer center, by providing uninterrupted power supplies. Hardware insurance etc. Physical security is achieved by provision of locking. Arrangement. Times it comprises arrangements for fire detection and fire avoidance. Pollution. Damage and unauthorized intrusion on computer equipments. Times a dust-free environment in the computer room is a must. Times. Cover hardware with protective fabric when it is not in use. 2. Software security. Software security is provided by using original software. For operating system, compilers or software packages. Times use correct procedures for shutting down the computer so that all the Files would be properly closed. Times keep backups of all the files. Times if one develop his her own applications, introduce passwords to access the application. 3. Information security, the protection of the interests of those relying on information and the information systems and communications that delivers the information from harm resulting from failures of availability, confidentiality and integrity. Times responsibility and accountability must be explicit. 
Times awareness of risks and security initiatives must be disseminated. Times security must be cost effective. Times securities must be addressed taking into considerations both technologies and non-technological issues. Times security must be coordinated and integrated. Times security must be reassessed periodically. Times security procedures must provide for monitoring and timely response. Times ethics must be promoted by respecting the rights and interests of others. 1.14 Virus Point A virus is a program which reproduces its own code by attaching itself to other programs in such a way that the virus code is executed when the infected program is executed. The virus does this without the permission or knowledge of the user. Computer Virus Computer viruses are the class of programs that reside in the storage media of computer and infect other programs which work well and replicate multiply themselves in the computer without the user's knowledge. Symptoms of virus attack Times less system memory than the actually installed memory. Times hanging up of machine and program for no particular reasons. Times hampering functions of I.O. devices. Times slowing down of execution system. Times abnormal screen display. Times delayed disk operations. Protection from viruses. Times use of antivirus software. Antivirus software is special software designed to check computer systems and disks for the presence of various computer viruses. Times procurement of software from reliable sources. It is better to procure the software from reliable sources in its original form with factory sealed packages. Times testing new applications on standalone system. When a new application is developed, it is better to test it on standalone system before the application is used on computer network. Times educating the users and computer operators about the possible threats from viruses, taking special care on the day and time of virus attack. 1.15 Let US Sum UP This unit covers the detailed descriptions of all the necessary features of information technology. Information technology, usually abbreviated as IT, is defined as the Umbrella covering all activities associated with computer-based information systems. It is defined as the study, design, development, implementation, support or management of computer-based information systems. This unit actually deals with how to use computer software and hardware and computer networks to produce, store, protect, process, transmit and retrieve securely and efficiently the information. Thank you, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.